Hey guys, what's up? Henry Tran with Six Pack Shortcuts and today's workout is going to be catered, catered and dedicated to one of my most favorite heroes, the martial arts superstar, Mr. Bruce Lee. Alright, so whenever I mention Bruce Lee or talk about Bruce Lee, the first thing that should come to mind is his shredded physique. That dude was shredded from head to toe, right? And a lot of his workouts and his training is based on having core strength and that's what today's workout is going to be catered to right we want to have core strength because a lot of our everyday exercises and movements revolve around engaging core muscles right so if we want if you want to have a great midsection you're going to have to have core strength all right so today's five workouts are going to be seated twist we're going to do some dragon flags hanging leg raises we're going to do some frog kicks, and then we're going to end it off with some uh, side bends. All right, so this is Bruce Lee's own workout that we're going to do together. And there's different levels you can do. And when I say different levels, it's different reps that we're going to do. If you're a beginner, you're going to do about 10 reps of each exercise. And if you want to take it to the advanced level, you're going to do 20 to 30 reps. So today I'm going to do an advanced version for you. I'm going to try to be the best Bruce Lee possible for you guys and have that rip section, mid rip mix section for you. So I'm gonna take it and do 20 reps of each of these exercises. And um, if you can do more than 20 reps, then my God, do it so you can look like Bruce Lee. But today, we're gonna to tear it up. All right, so we can do 20 reps of seated twist. And when we get through all five of these workouts, um, you know, if you need to take one or two minute break and take a rest, please do so. Uh, hit about two or three rounds of these and um, you'll be feeling good. But if you want to take it up a bit, don't take any rest. Alright, with you see the twist, I'm going to do a variation where I'm going to focus on one ten, first 10 reps on one side first and then 10 reps on the other side. So let's go. Alright, so when you do these, make sure you're tightening your abs abdominal section and twisting using your midsection. All right, so that's the twist. So when doing those, when you're twisting, make sure that you're stretching this area real good. Get a real good stretch, and then you're going to twist to the other side and get that full stretch on the other side. So you're working your obliques. Really great for workout. All right, next, we're going to do some dragon flags. Now, we're going to use this bench. You can actually do them on the floor, but I want that extra stretch and uh, this is going to be a little more difficult doing it on the bench. Alright, so make sure you're real stable before you do these. Especially if you have a wobbly bench, you don't want to tip over. Alright, 20 reps, and these are dragon flags. Nice and controlled, no need to rush. All right, this is core strength, that core muscles that we're focusing on. Definitely don't forget to breathe and squeeze that midsection when you come up. Really stretch out the bottom area of your midsection when you come down. Alright, next 
Next, we're gonna do hanging leg raises. Now with these, you're gonna need a pull-up bar. And if you have trouble holding your own body weight up, you can use ab slings. Um, I actually have some. But um, yeah, you can definitely use ab slings. They kind of go in your armpit and help you hang so you don't rely on your forearm strength if you get tired. Because sometimes your abs can keep going with these uh, hanging leg raises, but your arms are gonna give out. And you, know, you wanna focus on your, your abs and your core and not have to worry about holding yourself up. So use ab slings if you need to. Um, I'm gonna just use my hands. And um, I usually like to step on something, but we'll just go right into it. All right, 20 reps. All right, this is dedicated to Bruce Lee. All right, so these can be tricky because if you don't have control, especially core strength, right? This is core strength. If you don't have control, you're gonna start swinging and you basically will lose control of uh, engaging the abs and actually doing the exercise correctly. So the first few reps, do them real slow so you get kind of get control of the momentum and understand what the body is doing. And then once you have a little more control, you can go a little faster. And my forearms are starting to uh, feel the burn. That was great. All right, so we're gonna do some frog kicks. And this also hits the lower abdominal area. And these you can do on a chair. We're gonna do them on the side of this bench. Um, so what you wanna do, again, get a stable position. Kind of sit on the edge of the seat or this bench. I usually like to have like a little wider grip, so I just feel more stable. Then we're going to crunch, keep the knees bent when you crunch up and extend the legs out at the downward uh, end of the work, um, routine. Our last exercise are going to be some side bends. Great for obliques. What you're going to do is get a dumbbell. You're going to start out on one side holding the dumbbell. I'm going to start on a, well, I'm holding it on my right arm, but it's actually focusing on the obliques on the left side. All right. So you're going to stand up straight and you're gonna bend over and then crunch that left oblique area. You're gonna let gravity pull and then come up with your side obliques. And a tip, well it's something I do, you can use it as a tip if you want. Whenever I'm doing abs, I actually touch my abdominal area to see which parts are engaging, if they're engaging correctly. So whenever someone sees me doing abs, they always ask, what are you doing touching yourself? I'm like, I'm not really touching myself. I'm really making sure that I'm engaging the area that I want to engage. And in this case, I'm making sure I'm engaging a side of weeks.
almost there. Hopefully you're all doing 20 reps with me. Because 10 reps would have been a little too easy. I don't think Bruce Lee would have approved. All right, man, there you have it. Bruce, Bruce Lee's own personal ab routine. It is tough. You can make it even more tough. I'm pretty sure Bruce Lee does like 90 reps of these, like, I don't know, five, six times a day. But, you know, cater it to what you're capable of doing. Increase the reps, increase the rounds uh, whenever you get better at them and you're gonna get more fit. So, bro, take this own Bruce Lee workout, put it into your own routine, and you're gonna get shredded. All right, so if you like today's routine, hit us up for more workout tips, nutrition advice, fat loss advice. Hit us up, sixpackshortcuts.com. Thank you.